So the first thing we want to test is a one sample population mean. There's a more sample, right? The sample, we say the sample means equal to certain value, right? We want to see whether uh, what we collect from the data uh, using the sample mean, right? And see whether uh, what we have is consistent with what we have said, okay? So there's a uh, two different test statistic you can construct based on whether we know population variance sigma okay sigma square so if you know it's a z test you don't know it's a t test so first we talk about the one side test as a right tail test so the now is saying uh h now is equal to a or less than a and uh the alternative that's most important right is is more than a okay we know if not equal to a then it's more than a so that depends that is very important is more than a okay and given the population variance sample mean the test statistic is called z is uh, x bar minus mu and sigma over uh, root n right is normal c one the standard life normal this we have covered it uh, in the uh, previous uh, chapter this is uh, by the virtue of Central limit theorem, right? This normalized, uh, standardized mean uh, is indeed the standard normal, okay? When n is large enough, okay? And what we're going to do, okay? This is a first step, right? We will either do the critical value or the p-value, okay? So based on one minus alpha at reference level, okay? Find z alpha from the z table, okay? If z is bigger than z alpha, okay? Z alpha, remember, is the right tail is equal to alpha. It's bigger than Z alpha, then reject, right? Because we say, uh, we reject, we say this less less than, right? More than you reject, right? If it's too large, then reject. You just ch change it everything to the Z uh, scale. If it's too large, then you reject, right? If not, then you do not reject. Alternatively, look at the Z value, the P value. Look at the test statistic. Look at the a z bigger than the z value okay if this value is less than alpha then you reject okay let's see this diagram so basically what you construct is the so this is z right is uh one minus alpha is 0.95 okay so the z critical value is 1.64 so if the sample tells you it's in the red region okay then you reject the null hypothesis in the blue region then you do not okay alternatively Right, because the red one is the uh, five percent, right? So you can calculate, uh, give you the test statistic, right? Calculate the value on the right hand side, right? If the right hand side value is less than five percent, then you all can also reject. So this is basically the same thing. Uh, while where they look at the critical value or the p value, uh, there is uh, no different between them. Whether which one you want to use, which the same thing. Um, sometimes it's easy to use critical value, sometimes it's easy to use p-value, uh, but then you see which one you want to use, okay? So let's say example. So with a population standard deviation is 4, okay? So we want to consider random sample or sample size with n equals 64, and sample mean is uh, x by to the 5, so you want to see whether uh, x now is 4 and uh, x1 z is greater than 4 okay so first construct a z test statistic right which is 5 minus 4 because we know the population standard deviation so you z 4 over root uh, 4 to 64 equal to 2 okay from c table is 1.64 we see here 1.64 so now we have 2 right so it's the re in the region of rejection right the red area okay so that means we want to reject the x now okay Instead, we will, we will accept, or oh, sorry, we would uh, rather hold this hypothesis more than 4. So we reject this, okay? And or turn to look at the p-value 2, okay? Look at the p-value 2. Uh, the area more than 2 is 0 0.00285, so it's less than 0 0.05. So you would uh, also reject based on p-value, okay? Thank you.